Thank you. It's an honour to be here tonight. I just performed two of my original songs, Emotions and Better Me. Emotions was my debut song, which I performed at the Quinn Auditorium in 2011 and at the Melbourne Recital Centre in 2017. The song Better Me was written as a motivational song in 2014. Emotions is about the feelings I was experiencing during the hardest times of my life. Better Me is about me becoming better. My name is Lena. Like many of you, I'm a girl with big dreams. Today, I'm a piano and singing teacher, singer-songwriter, and the owner of Lena's Music House, which was my house where I taught music. Since then, I've gone from teaching music in my house to teaching music in other people's houses. At this point in my life, I've worked hard to run my own business, to pursue my passion in music, and to share that passion with others. Yet, at this point, I don't feel like a success story. Not yet. To be honest, I do feel a little silly standing up here, telling successful people like you how to be successful. But what I can do is share with you my journey, my challenges, and my dreams, so that you can see what lies on the road ahead. And my journey begins when I graduated in 2003 from Caroline Chisholm. I want to spend a few moments to share this part of my life with you. Some of these places you might recognize, especially the teachers, and some of these you might not. I spent many recess and lunch times in the library doing homework so that I didn't have to do it at home. Caroline Chisholm was still three separate schools at the time. Amalgamation happened when I was in year eight. My mother wasn't quite happy about it because she wanted me to go to an all girls school. And now there were guys. <laughs> you guys have Instagram and Snapchat. We had pen pals. <laughs> we wrote letters to the guys' campus. Actual handwritten letters with love hearts, flowers, and signatures. I looked forward to Sacred Heart Day the most. All three campuses would come together. We get to meet our pen pals. The Sacred Heart Day talent quest inspired me the most but I never had the courage to audition for it. I wanted to be like the performers on stage one day. I did the school choir, I did singing lessons. On the last day of year 12, I did the year 12 talent quest, playing piano, singing and dancing. Because I knew that if I failed miserably, I would never see my classmates again. Looking at these photos brings back happy memories and extremely painful ones. Words can't describe how grateful I am to Caroline Chisholm for helping my younger brother and I through the darkest and hardest times of our lives. My parents passed away when I was in year 10 and year 12. My brother and I struggled to pay the school fees. We couldn't complete our homework due to excessive domestic responsibilities. We didn't know how to look after ourselves. Caroline Chisholm helped us with the school fees so we could continue with our schooling. Our teachers organized our lunch and dinner so we wouldn't go hungry. We were offered extra homework help. I started teaching piano part-time. My dream to pursue a career in music was not an option in these circumstances. After year 12, I had to study a course that offered more job opportunities and stability. So I studied a Bachelor of Science. 
In my first year, I failed biology, I failed chemistry, I failed physics. In short, I failed science. That plan didn't exactly turn out well. I was failing so much that Melbourne University threatened to kick me out. The reason was that I was teaching music too many hours. I did eventually complete my Bachelor of Science, having successfully balanced my science studies and music teaching. I did the only logical thing. I applied for jobs in business consulting. <laughs> Fortunately, my dreams of becoming a business consultant was shattered when I was told in my interview for the grad program that I would no longer be able to teach music. Now, if you were in my position, what would you do? A, ignore my lifelong passion for music and do business consulting? Or B, finally realize the obvious truth of pursuing a career in music? If you choose A, give me some credit. <laughs> I chose B. You did see my performance, right? As much that I wanted to think that I was talented and born to be a musician. In fact, I had been doing singing competitions. I didn't exactly win, but I did come second place. But I didn't win. And in music, you have to win. What this showed me was that I had so much to learn. And the only way to learn was to study music. So, I studied a Diploma of Popular Music Performance at JMC Academy. After graduating from the diploma, I was offered more performance opportunities and acknowledged as a professional performer. At the Academy, my lecturer said to me, there's no such thing as just a singer. You have to do everything. Dancing, acting, presenting, songwriting, and teaching. We didn't just study pop music, we studied their role models and their role models and their role models all the way back to the 30s. We had to learn screen music, music theory, music business, stagecraft, performance practice. We had to study everything so we could do anything. What I learned is that you can't just be one thing. So when I went back to singing competitions, I wasn't just a singer. I was a judge and a coach. And by the way, in a completely different language. <laughs> Being on the other side of the competition revealed a different side to music. This wasn't your high school talent quest. It's showbiz. We had training from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m., five nights a week, on top of our day jobs. Last minute changes, on call, on standby, 24 seven. New songs and dance routines every week. Low sleep, high stress, no pay. Why would anyone do this? When you are chasing your dreams, when you want that record deal, when you want that prize, you will do everything, and I mean everything, to give yourself every opportunity. Well, I didn't get a record label for myself, but what I got from it was inspiration. I have been running the music school for eight years now. This experience gave me the vision and drive to push my school and music students in a new direction. When I started my school, I followed my mentor's vision. Quality music education at affordable prices. But our students wanted to achieve great things. 
they didn't want to just pass their music exams. They wanted to position themselves to move their music learning further. To help them achieve this goal, to harness this talent, we had to hire better talent. To create the talent, we had to build a complete methodical approach to learning music. Just as music is my life, I wanted to embed music education in everyone's life. My approach was to create learning materials that would act as an entry point. I made CDs to teach young ambitious performers the fundamentals. I created ebooks for students to continue their practice when they couldn't. I built resources to guide people not only on how to learn, but also how to teach. The things that I wish I knew, I made. The things that I want my students to do, I did. My role and my goal, like all of your teachers, is to give you everything you need to succeed on your own. And it's up to you to start that journey. My journey hasn't been easy. Yours won't be either. You will face challenges, different ones, and harder ones. We can't be there to guide you every step of the way. But I will leave you with three tenets I follow. Number one, there are no shortcuts. It's a long road. As much as you want overnight success, the truth is success takes time. The road is not a sprint a marathon. To go the distance, you must last the distance. Number two, mistakes are not bad. Make no mistake, you will trip, you will fall, and you will fail. But no one who has ever made it did so without falling. No one succeeds without experiencing failure. Mistakes are part of the journey. Mistakes should not be embarrassing, but embraced. Every mistake is an opportunity. Number three, ask for help. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you want to be better. There is no shame in not knowing but there is shame in not doing. Be honest to yourself and open to others. Share your problems, seek advice, and take action. I would like to conclude my speech with one final bit of advice. For those of you in the audience who feel that it feels like these goals are too high and the road is too long, and there is no way to be like me. I want to show you one thing. I was once like you. I would like to thank the college for giving me this opportunity to share my experience with you. I would like to thank you for giving me your attention. And I hope that my story will resonate with some of you. If I haven't inspired you to take up music, I at least hope that you can take something and apply it to whatever you wish. I wish you all the best.